What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, as you probably already noticed, yeah, we defeated Bruno. Easily. And now it is finally time to take on the other Elite Four member, Karen, the Dark-type trainer. And I think I got a good strategy for her, so let's go, let's move on. See ya, Bruno. And bam, this place looks a little eerie, kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a Faulkner's gym right here. So here we go, talking to this lady, she's like, I am Karen of the Elite Four, you're Draven. How amusing. I love Dark-type Pokemon. I find their wild, tough image to be so appealing. And they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. So as you can see, guys, Karen is a Dark-type trainer, and uh, this is a big first for anything in Generation 2. A Dark-type Pokemon trainer, and here she comes out with Ombreon, the Pokemon that I did not cho choose for my evolution. So moving on to the next screen right here. Here we have Karen, the dark type trainer. She has five Pokemon. And remember, in Generation 2, or by Generation 2, there's not a lot of dark type Pokemon. So she comes out with a true dark type Pokemon, Ombreon, which has Faint Attack, Confuse Ray, Mean Look, and Sand Attack. Then you got Vileplume. Kind of looks like a dark type Pokemon, but, you know, it's a grass type Pokemon. Then she comes out with another dark type Pokemon, Murkrow, both dark and flying type. Then it comes out with Ra or Gengar right here, a ghost and poison type Pokemon, and finally Houndoom, the dark and fire type Pokemon. So let's bring it back right here, guys. These dark type Pokemon do like to screw around with you a lot. You know, they have sand attack. They like to use, you know, the whole, the, the occasional, um, the occasional confuse ray and stuff. Just be aware of that, guys. And Ombreon right here is pretty strong. As you can see, it took a fiend attack, or it took a return attack from my Teddy, one of my most powerful Pokemon right here. And she returned it with a yeah, a fiend attack. So I'm gonna return my fiend attack to this girl. Right here, fiend attack. And it does not do a lot of damage. And as you can see, it's gonna confuse the crap out of me right now. So I probably should have used that return attack one more time, but I got cocky. So let's finish it off with Earthquake. Come on, hurt it, hurt it, yes. That's right, it's hurting with an earthquake. That's right, you you felt it. And Kid Thunder grows to level 48. It's good. Alrighty, she's gonna come out with her vile plume, so I'm gonna go straight to Cinder. The Cinder Show. Alrighty, let's do this. Cinder, destroy vile plume. Finish her off. Fire punch. And, uh, would you look at that? Fire Punch, right, right there. Finishes him off, right there. That's right. Another Vile Plume just hits the dust right there. Okay, alrighty. And she's gonna come out with her Gengar. So the Pokemon I will be using is Relic right here. Because remember, Gengar is a Ghost and Poison type Pokemon. It's still weak against uh, Psychic type Pokemon right here. And Relic. Let's do this. I'm gonna use Shadow Ball, because you know, I, I like Shadow Ball. It's a pretty cool move. And there we go. Finish it off. It does. Bye bye, Gengar. No mercy. And, uh, well, Relic grows to level 55. That's also good. And, uh, we got two more Pokemon to go. She's got her Murkrow coming out. Let's go with Kid Thunder. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's finish him off with Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder, Thunderbolt. Oh yes. That's right. That's right. Murkrow does not survive that attack. Now we've met a Murkrow before back uh, against the Team Rocket members. But not a Murkrow this powerful right here. And she's gonna come out with her last Pokemon, Houndoom. Let's go with Nessie right here. Nessie needs some loving. Nessie's gonna get the loving. And here comes Houndoom, level 47. Very powerful Pokemon. And we're gonna go straight to, oh wow, he's faster than us. And that, that flamethrower type will just, it, it will do some damage right there. As you can see, it took a lot. And uh, we're gonna go with the Surf Attack right here. Surf does its trick, right? It's gonna finish you off. Finish him. 
Oh, nearly finishes him off, and we're gonna just go with Surf Attack again, but Karen uses that Max Potion to give it her Houndoom a little bit more knife right there. But let's go with the Surf Attack yet again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finish you. Finish you off right here. Come on, critical hit. Critical hit. Bye bye Super effective. Say goodbye to Houndoom. No more Houndoom right there. And would you look at that, we defeat Karen. She's like, well, aren't you good? I like that, in a trainer. Hmm, that's good, she likes us, that's good. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of, po of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. I like your style, you understand that important, or that importance. Go on, champion is waiting. So, stay tuned guys, in the next episode, we will be facing the Pokemon League champion. How are we going to face us? I don't know. Stay tuned guys, I'll be right back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.